Good afternoon everybody, good morning or good night. Today we're going to talk about the designing of educational environment or in educational environment. It is the subject that I learn. And by the way, I'm a Russian man who brings value to my own experiences and I learn philology in my university of Moscow, the Moscow Region State University. Yes, this is the name and it is for pedagogical stuff and also for philology. Philology plus this thing. And we have questions maybe for you it will be interesting it is our like plan for questions that they gi gave to us our teacher thank to her by the way Olga Nikolaevna she's uh, her name it's it's okay and uh, we are right now trying with you to answer to these questions it will be interesting I think so and for you maybe it will be what what's what's the purpose what's the benefits to you as a foreigner you will learn maybe vocabulary of Russian language scientific vocabulary if you need it if you need something like frequently used words that you maybe not uh, will learn them in this video not uh, like super fully but uh, in the meaning of scientific stuff you will learn them in this video also you maybe will learn more about designing about the project creating about making stuff about making projects and something like this by the way it is super easy you you know it already from your childhood when you were <laughs> building your what what the the tower of blocks lego or maybe it will it was a constructor constructing things uh, by the way in my childhood i remember we we had kind of lego lego i don't know l e g o and uh, we were connecting them kind of this stacking and then it is the tower and uh, it's amazing and here is the projectirование в образовательной среде what does it mean it means designing in educational environment okay and this вопрос к экзамену по курсу it means the questions and uh, kind of questions for an exam on the course of project uh, creating in educational environment and for whom it is magistrant it means master's degree people to 2020 years uh, it is учебный год it is the abbreviation not abbreviation but uh, here we have dots it means that you can kind of write for example if you have a bird you can call it not a bird like but a bee for example, like bird, but you already know that it is kind of the short version, okay? Yao means языковое образование or a language education, and one it is our group, okay? It is ear, it is учебный, if we will translate it, study, study ear, okay? And here is the, uh, the questions, and I will give you answers right now. It is the stages of uh, project making and their characteristics we have a lot of different versions by the way really we have a lot of them and every person has their own opinion like uh, it should be this way it should be this way and uh, we have different types of uh, stages for example first it will be the problem you see the problem and you want to solve it or maybe you see the purpose and you want to do this it is kind of planning programming or maybe kind of i think about this way need to do something yes need to solve some problems in the society need to bring value to people need to do something and then we set goals and maybe sub goals and that is the first what we do in the project creating then we do creating and then we do iterations of uh, speaking with your with our target audience because on the conceptual level when we do kind of preparation when we should do speaking with our audience or doing a portraying our target audience that we want to create our project to for example you want to create project for uh, book lovers or for movie lovers or for both of them how how will you create the project you should know the target audience what they like they like anime they like roblox is a game for children <laughs> or maybe they like something tiktok scrolling or maybe they like food what kind of food they like maybe they like some hamburgers or maybe they like a little bit of potatoes or maybe it will be the green and grass and something like uh, greeny and uh, healthy food maybe they like and uh, it all depends and uh, on their Tar on your target audience it is first then on the second level of our creations we created create 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 and we can kind of decompose it 
to small things. What can we create? We can create first version. Also, we can firstly gather some materials to this because uh, if you are a sculptor or maybe a person who creates uh, some architecture things, sculptures, then you need a little bit of stone, rock, or maybe, I don't know what's the name of it, like diamonds you need uh, or something like things uh, to create. Yes, you need uh, <laughs> earth to collect or another things wood yes you collect them and then you master it and uh, first stage is collecting them resourcefulness then you can start creating then you put it on a market market sees says huh good huh not it is not a good it is s h h i t and uh, then okay we are doing repairing of this stuff and uh, then it's amazing okay we are ready to the next level and again planning again this acting then kind of reflex reflection reflection means huh it was good okay they gave us feedback and <laughs> then after feedback you have the <laughs> you have uh, one more new goals okay we have four steps main steps i will say it say it to you first planning okay targeting or uh, goal setting second it is uh, creating it creating 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 and uh, something in this uh, stage you also gather materials and create then on third you show it hey guys look at this and they say feedback and on fourth step you do reflexion reflection i don't know reflexion in russian language it is when you do analysis huh was it good was it not what's the criteria and by the way criteria you also say them on the first stage like what's the criteria that they set and also while you're doing creating your the feedback feedback lists because you can create feedback lists and to give to them was it good what's the kind of scale from one to five say to us do you like it or not i hope you understand yes and on then fourth stage is w went and uh, like uh, the fourth stage is finished we did feedback analysis and then we're gonna go again on planning through the analysis we found that need to improve this 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 then we go goal setting then again collecting data then again go into this and then then, then again it is a cycle cycle yes you know it next projectирование pro pro как инновационный процесс jesus christ so understandable thing and by the way let's google it so what's what does it mean проектирование in russian in russian let's let's read it проектирование процесс определения архитектуры компонентов интерфейсов и других характеристик системы или ее части let's translate it designing is the process of defining the architecture her components, interfaces, and different other characteristics of the system, or her particles, like parts, okay? It is uh, the process of uh, creating, and also you can create a model for it. And uh, look at this, проектирование, как инновационный процесс. It means the designing as innovation process. What, what the hell is it? It's, it is the process of... It is innovation. You always do iterations, iterations, then you do improving, and okay, it is innovation, because you did a lot of things and also did uh, contextual, contextual work maybe for so somebody. And I mean that uh, we can do context. Do I understand it? It is when we do something, then we, do, uh, we can do this contextually. For example, if you, lure, if you know a lot of uh, Game of Thrones, then you can create something like an automobile or maybe the car for people who likes uh, who likes Game of Thrones. It will be with dragons. It will be contextual, bringing value. Okay, and uh, it is the context of it. Context means that for specific criteria, for specific parameters that we set on the beginning. Next, a th theoretical basis of pedagogical project creating it is a kind of what we should know and about pedagogy and about uh, pro it is you should know your target audience the first thing what you should you know what you know about rolling down in the deep it is uh, this song from <laughs> from uh, <laughs> from the tiktok okay the first you should know theoretic i mean uh, you should know your 
target audience. If you want to create your own project, you should know your target audience. What will you go for? Like, what's the goal? And uh, theoretic uh, basis, it means that you should know more about psychology of these people. And uh, if you know these people, like, uh, you should know theory of this target audience. For example, you have anime people. Yes, they are interested in anime. And then you should create your program that will be in they will be interested in Naruto, in uh, <laughs> in the Demon Slayer, or in the Death Note, in another anime cartoons. If you do for gamers, then you create it for World Warcraft, for StarCraft, Minecraft, another craft, Fortnite, Roblox, and other things, gacha life, and <laughs> things of this nature. You should know what they are interested in fully. And then you go, or if you do for mathematicians, then okay, let's do something for integral Riemanns of a Riemann, Descartes systems, something like Leibniz, and also Isaac Newton, maybe Isaac Ni Asimov, Asimov in a way of uh, robotics, yes? And if you do for uh, chemistry people, then you should know their theoretical basis. It is what I think, because you should know what they are going for, what's your target audience want what their requests the more targeted requests they have the better quality of education you will give them through the project creating okay okay types of project creating it is uh, mathematical informational something like uh, architectural different types engineering creating it all depends on the project that we create visual arts sound arts uh, main main things sound arts digital art I mean that, uh, not digital, I mean visual. Visual, audio, and text form. That's all. Or moving pictures, like video. That's all. It is what you create in the type of this. And also you can do 3D modeling, but it is visual art too. I think so. And next, the main approaches to project creating. Oh, it is kind of the main approaches. Need to... Okay, the same. You show, you, you see your audience like start from your audience or start with a problem or start with a goal or start with bringing value or start with uh, something you want to entertain your imagination and that's why you started different types of uh, why can you start it and approaches you can gather all the data before the starting your project creating or you can uh, you can do this after like <laughs> gather gathering data the levels of pedagogic projection creating conceptual, содержательный, технологический, процессуальный means concept. Cons look, уровни педагогического проектирования концептуальный, содержательный, технологический, процессуальный means conceptual. It means that uh, concept, main idea. Содержательный means uh, kind of more decomposing your concept. Next, технологический, технологический means uh, technology that you use inside of it. Maybe some resources, some basis, some apparatus, some postulates of mathematics maybe you use inside of it. And процессуальный, процессуальный means uh, process. So what's the like uh, sequence of doings you should do, okay? Next, uh, principle projectной деятельности. You should know your target audience, you should do cre criteria, you should know criteria that you use. Also, you should uh, bring value to people and something like this, some words. Предпроектный этап педагогической деятельности. It means that you uh, do analysis of your things, okay, of your target audience. Критерии оценивания инновационного проектирования. It means that you can do this through specific specific knowledge that they say criteria оценивания инновационного проектирования it means that you do kind of research through again enquets i mean that enquete do you have this uh, i mean one moment i will open google translation here enquete questionnaires questionnaires form Worksheet, okay, and uh, you can do this through worksheets. You can ask people what's what was was it good or not, and something like this. And also, you can say was it uh, effective through the specific parameters you set it on the beginning, like uh, will it be so shiny? Will it will it 
do do the if we ha if we have composing designing for composers of music do we have five instruments or not or do we have only four is it good that we have only four instruments that we use or is it bad and so we ask these questions next characteristics characteristics of conceptual stage of uh, the phase of project creating is this uh, when we create a concept of our things what's the main idea that's all программирование программирование и планирование под как категория проектирования okay we do kind of analysis strategic planning and other things and uh, types of planning it is uh, what strategic small portions on five minutes on our daily basis and uh, what we do daily jesus christ so so easy so easy stuff i think so types and виды и объекты педагогического проектирования it means that uh, i don't know what's the what does it mean объекты педагогического проектирования but i think that uh, object is the person who our uh, who our uh, actions directed to and uh, it is uh, the target audience also it is object of uh, pedagogy project uh, creating it is maybe the product that we have in final like it will be a game or a book or maybe it will be the course or something учебное проектирование we can create study okay досуговое и каникулярное проектирование it means that uh, in a mini of uh, like having fun and also каникулярное, it means that on a holiday project creating. Акмеологическое проектирование means акмеологи. It means the stage of really highest level of our humankind. I'm a superhuman. Next, the network project creating. Международное проектирование, international project creating. I think that you understand it. It is easy to understand. If you, if you need to understand, like to... If you want to know what's, what is it, then let me know in the comment section below. I will try to answer to you. Project creating of the contents of education. Project creating, project creating of conception of, of conception of, pro, of the contents of education. It means the concept, concepcia means the concept, main, like the main goal. What's our mission? Project creating in a system of professional preparation, project creating in a system of uh, improving qualification, socio-pedagogical project creating, project creating of uh, self-growth and something like this. Средовой подход в педагогическом проектировании. It means that one dude, U.S. Manuilov, it is uh, the person, he created the средовой подход, it means the environment approach. We know that everything in our life sometimes depends on our environment. We are who our environment. He stands for it. And sometimes, yes, it is true that uh, the environment determines who we are. And uh, средовой подход means that you create the specific environment for people that will do your work <laughs> that uh, that will do your work in this environment and so their productivity may, maybe will be better and they will understand better if you want to learn something about anime then surround yourself books about anime posters pictures visual audio sounds of it and then it will be better okay next понятие образовательной среды и подход к изучению образовательной среды it means the educational environment and uh, how we can learn it, what's around us, asking questions and really easy stuff with uh, some scientific words that we describe it. Characteristics of educational environment. It means that we have, again, surroundings and uh, what's the type of communication inside of it. Technology of pedagogical project creating and criteria of this, I don't know how to translate it, assessment? Assessment, yes. Оценивание. It means that uh, we say it is good or not. Technology of uh, project creating, okay. Project creating of interaction technology. Interaction means that we are speaking side to side and our feedback is going so fast between us. Complex pedag pedagogical tools of project creating of modern lesson. 
model creating of uh, the content of the lesson it means what's the what's the modeling it means that we create a first model that will be testing like a prototype M model creating of the contents of the lesson требования к проектированию в образовательной среде среде means the criteria to create uh, projects in an educational environment it all depends on who are who is the person who is the decision maker it is government says to us and they can say yes it should be this way or should be that way okay project project creating of uh, studying contents project creating of pedagogical technologies project creating of methodics of uh, studying and uh, that are relating to the targets and goals of education and uh, some tests and measurements materials project creating of individual educational roads this one проектирование индивидуальных образовательных маршрутов it means that project creating of individual individual educational road like what's the first step what's the second what's the third and uh, I think that it is interesting. Like uh, you first learn this, second learn this, third learn this. Like from the basis. Start from the basis. What should you know? Or you can start from anything. It all depends on the goal that we pursue. What should be the main knowledge? What should be the basis? If you want to start... If you want to make a person with a basis of the end basis... Then you can start with an and phrases. If you want to start with a super basis, like basis, 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 what means basis? Like, then start with a basis. But sometimes basis is the end basis, and, ba and end basis is a basis. <laughs> I don't know, do you understand me? But, okay, it all depends on the target audience and their requests. The, this need to start from it. The main suchness uh, means, uh, need to translate it. A sense, a sense of project creating doings of pe pedagogue, of the teacher. What does it mean? Ah, it means that uh, he creates projects, it is the useful thing. Good. <laughs> Forms of pedagogical project creating. It is, okay, he can create uh, the lesson, the course, the webinar, the something else. This is for different target audiences. Model approach for creating the contents of education. <laughs> Model. What the hell is it? It means that we have specific parts. We do categorization of things. Jesus Christ, why should we learn it? It is so easy. Super easy. I don't know. Uh, Maybe only to translate you these things, <laughs> that's why we read it. Принципы проектирования содержания учебного процесса. Процесс, uh, предмета. Принципы проектирования содержания учебного предмета. It means principles of project creating or principles. Principles of project creating of content of the study subject. Really, it is the principles that... You should be kind of polite to you to your people. It shouldn't be kind of ethic violent to them. That's all. It's easy. Like maybe I'm super smart, but I think that people understand it. Like it shouldn't be against the people. It should be for people. That's all. All the principles. Project uh, creating of technology of the problematic education it means that we have the problem with a person maybe our target audience is a disabled disabled person then we should research them what they like what they don't like and then go for it project creating of technology of the self-growth orient oriented education okay project creating of control assessment doings Project creative of rankings, technology, and the control and the assessment. The theory of the environment approach of the person. Named after Manuilov, US. I don't know who is uh, he. Maybe Yuri. Yuri Sergeyevich, maybe. 
and uh, as the approach of of достижение, it means achieving the social meaningful conceptual pedagogical targets of project creating. The term of project and project creating, the main phases of project, the phase of project creating, technology phase and phase of reflection means that reflexia, we thinking, need to translate it. Reflexia is analyzing of feedback. One moment. Reflections. Reflections. Yes, and we have different. Reflection, reflection. Okay. And uh, the main stages of the phase of project creating. Основные стадии фаза проектирования. Характеристика стадии моделирования фаза проектирования. It means the characteristics of the stage of modeling on the phase of project creating. It means that we create a prototype. That's all. Characteristics of the stage of construirования фазы проектирования. It means that we created during this phase and so we c connect all the components, okay? And characteristics of the stage of technological preparation in realization of project. It means that, look, I will translate it uh, to Russian. Характеристика стадии технологической подготовки реализации проекта. It means that uh, we do preparation of technology of, uh, I mean that, technological preparation, it means we connect all the data, connect all the materials, connect, we collect, 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 not connect, co and connect in the same time, uh, collect all the materials, all the tools that we need to build it. Like, you need to build a house, then you collect all the hammers, all the nails, all the wood, and that's all, we build a house, maybe you need also stones. Oh, nice, decomposition as the process of making of uh, kind of differentiation of the main purpose of project creating system to the different small sub goals and uh, they are called tasks it is tasks let's translate it to russian декомпозиция как процесс разделения общей цели проектируемой системы на отдельные по цели задачи it means that we do decomposition we have the full thing Composed, and we see this small particle, this small, this small, uh, some small particles, like atoms, okay? And, uh, or maybe even less. Агрегирование, как процесс согласования отдельных задач реализации проекта между собой. What the hell is агрегирование? Aggregation, I think so, if we will translate it. Yes? Aggregation. Aggregation. Aggregation, Aggregation is the process of uh, the... Согласование means kind of uh, when we connect them and uh, we say yes, it is truth. One moment need to translate harmonization, agreement, coordination, negotiating or negotiating. I think so. Adapting, consort, dovit tailing, matching, matching and agreement, coordination. Yes, it is. Uh, it is the same. It is uh, aggregation. It is the process of connecting all the things. It is the different as uh, decomposition. It is aggregation. We connect all the things and see how we can make it easier. Like we connect all the goals. For example, you need to, you need to create, uh, for example, a festival to people who likes anime. And you can create different anime stands for Naruto, for Demon Slayers, for uh, something else, for Death Note, for Promised Neverland, the Promised Neverland, and then you connect them on a main stage. And main stage will be for everybody, for anime people who likes anime. And they have some something like the sameness, the same as English people, they have the same English culture, English language, yes, but maybe they have different interests. Something, somebody maybe will like music more. Somebody will like visual arts more. Different things, okay? And uh, last, project creating of, of, <laughs> of studying situationable tasks for making, for making a, an assessment of competencies of studying people on the Russian language. Let's read it in Russian. Проектирование учебных ситуационных задач, 
project creating of the specific study tasks to make an assessment of competences whose of people who learn Russian language. What does it mean? It means we can create the specific project for different situations during our study. Somebody is asking us, what's the preposition? What's the, this thing? What's the, that thing? And uh, you can say to them during this time, like, uh, what's the preposition E? It is and. It is to connect all things. What is ili? It is kind of to say what's the logic between them. And uh, it is all about it. I think that uh, you understand it. It's like in er, in English language, you can say and or or. Or, or, and. It's two different words, two different prepositions. And we can say that uh, and for connect or to kind of it is here and it is here. And they can be either here or the or this, this or this, or maybe they are together, but this or this, yes. Or maybe it is strong E or strong and, then it will be this or this, like uh, not, it. if this, then not that, if this, then not that, okay, you understand it, I hope you, I hope you understand, and it is uh, specific, we know specific frequently asked questions, and to create specific situation, situations, and uh, we, we solve these things. Easy, I think so. <laughs> I hope you understand. And if you want to learn Russian language, read, speak, listen to this. And if you want some topics that uh, to discuss some topics in Russian language, then let me know in the comment section below and I will create a video about it. Today we talked about the project creating in educational environment. It was interesting. And uh, all what should we know? It is our target audience, then we have feedback from them, they speak about something, and then after this feedback we do something, replanning again, and targeting, and setting goals, and then going again, this cycle of target, targeting, setting goals, then collecting all the data and creating, then showing it to people, and gathering feedback, then analysis of the feedback, and then through this analysis we do again setting, then again doing and iterations repeating four steps that's all it is what i think about model creating and about project creating it is easy so so thank you a lot for watching this video improve soul daily go forward to your dreams and know that everything in your life depends only on you you should go forward and everything will be fine see you next time bye bye